baby on board, crying. I guess they'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't left yet. We need to leave. I'm gonna go. Take us to Orlando. This plane has been delayed twice. We're supposed to leave at 7.25. And then 8.30. And then 8.30, and now it's... Almost 9.30. 9.22. It's okay. It's vacation time. Whoa. Look at this airport. Dude, this, this, this airport's pretty dope. I like the design. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking at it. <laughs> um, as I was saying, the, the plane ride was really cool because like when you we were flying, you could see the skyline of the edge of Florida and off to the side, it was like a thunderstorm and this, the, the lightning was crazy. All right, well, now we're gonna, now we're gonna go to our hotel. It is one in the morning, so. Relax, relax. And sleep. And then tomorrow I gotta work. But where are we working? We're working at City Walk, or I'm working at City Walk. <laughs> City I'm Walk. Su I'm supporting him. Yeah. yeah. At City Walks, or going to the entrance to City Walks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's gonna rain here pretty bad. Uh, I think it's best to find some uh, shelter. shelter. Oh, thunder! Yes, it's about to rain. All right, yeah. We can get some <laughs> quick food and then get inside. A little breezy, but all right. We're gonna get some buns. Bye. I've been the bow, never had it. Hopefully, dodge the rain. Yeah, hopefully we dodge the rain pretty soon. Um, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. All we had today was uh, chips. Yeah. Bend the There's bow. a lot of food over here. Whoa! Oh, I do remember. Sorry, I do. Remember. Oh, now she remembers this place. <laughs> she was like, I don't remember talking about this place at all. Mmm. <laughs> I want that one and that one. I was going to say these two look the best. We got the uh, beef brisket and the pork belly uh, bao buns here at Bend the Bell at Universal City Walk. And uh, which one are you excited to eat first? Uh, I'm gonna say the one with jalapenos. Oh, there's cilantro. That might be, she hates cilantro. Take a biggie bite, take a biggie bite. Mm. There's like no sauce to it, it's just brisket. The brisket has some um, kind of a smoky flavor. Honestly, it's kind of boring. <laughs> Boo, we don't like boring. This is my turn. At least the bun is warm. It is kind of boring. A little dry. The bun is what makes it sweet. Up next is the pork belly, which looks really pretty, pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, looks sauced up. It's got green onions in there, some peanuts on it. Take your first bite. Mm, that's much better. Yeah. And the peanut gives it a nice little nutty flavor. I like it. Do you want to just go for the top? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has that Asian barbecue taste. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not like your normal barbecue. But Asian barbecue is very sweet, but it has like a uh, smoky undertone to it. So that's pretty good. I think this one was my favorite. Yeah, I was gonna say, out of the two, I think this one's probably the best. All right, so here at Cowfish, just ordered the Taste of Explosion Roll, which is like a burger and a sushi roll. So they call it a bagushi here at Cowfish. Um, and then we ordered the Texas Longhorn Burger. We're gonna split all that and see how it tastes. Can't wait for it to come out, because I'm still hungry. I'm starving. Here we have our food. Here is the truffle fries. This is actually a lot more toppings on it than I thought was gonna be on it, so that's good. That's good news. Here's our Borgie, our Texas Longhorn burgers. Got some bacon, crispy onions, some cheddar cheese, barbecue sauce. A really sad looking lettuce though, <laughs> but that's okay. And here's our burgushi. 
it's the uh, taste of ex taste of, the taste of the taste of explosion roll, if I can speak. <laughs> um, it's got jalapenos, tomato. a tomato on it, a pesto sauce, a pesto sauce uh, Angus Angus burger beef in it, rice. and rice. I'm ready to dig in. Are you ready? Yes. I'm picky, so I'm gonna take the tomato off though. Grab that. Ewee, ewee. Ewee, 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 ewee. Get off! There we go. Okay. You just eat the, shove it all in my mouth? Oh, it's also got spicy mayo. Okay. My turn with the spicy mayo. It's got yummy spicy mayo. I'll try with it. There's the cross section. We got your fried onions, your bacon, the beef, cheddar cheese, and meat. Very greasy. It's very soft. Mine could use a little more barbecue sauce, but other than that, it's still good. All right, so we just had cowfish. Cowfish. Um, I think if we're gonna go there again, I would probably just stick with the burgushi. Um, it was very flavorful, very complimentary, like decent sized rolls. The burger, on the other hand, was very mid. It was juicy, but like there wasn't a whole lot of flavor. Yeah. So, <clears throat> what she, to more elaborate more on what she's talking about is that the the burger we had was I don't know what it was. Our bottom bun was s like soaked. It's very it was mushy. very mushy, um, which isn't you know it's not the best. Um, the burger itself was kind of just dry. It needed more barbecue sauce on it. I feel like. Maybe they forgot or they just did a light drizzle of barbecue sauce. Yeah. Um, the onion rings, they had a nice crunch, or like strings, they had a nice crunch, but there wasn't any flavor. Yeah, the onion strings didn't really add any flavor. They just added texture. Yeah. Um, so I wish those were more flavorful. So the burger um, is mid. It'll fill you up though. Mm -hmm. Like we shared it and I'm stuck. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, I but think yeah. the burgushi is probably what I would just stick with next time. Yeah. So if you're going to Countfish, get the burgushi. That stuff was, <clears throat> that stuff was good. Burgers, mid, I would skip those. But the burgushi, um, I love that it had jalapenos on it, which added a lot of flavor to. Yeah, they definitely did the not deceive those. They were spicy, and it yeah. had like a pesto sauce. Oh, yeah, that so stuff was good. good. Alrighty, well we're gonna walk around a bit. We might see a movie, and then um, we'll get some dessert. Get some dessert at the chocolate factory. I think next time we come here, we are we're gonna get the the world's best dogs, which they have like a two foot long hot dog in that corner right there. Um, but I want to try it next time. Yeah, definitely want to try it next time. But we're too we're too stuffed right now. Walking towards Island of Adventures. Is it Island of Adventures or Island of Adventure? I think it's with an S. Adventures. Oh, no, it's without an S. Island of Adventure. So hopefully tonight we'll go eat at the Chocolate Emporium. I called it the Chocolate Factory earlier, but it basically looks like one. It is a Chocolate Factory, basically. Um, universal sign, this rotating sign is over there, behind this airplane. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's walk, let's walk. So I definitely want to come back to Universal, um, especially for Halloween Horror Nights. So, Potentially, we can do that this year or next year. Next year. Um, well, because we have to do this Universal for Halloween, and then at some point we need to do Disney for Halloween. Yeah. So we'll. Oh. People are taking pictures. <laughs> Don't want to get in their way. Man, I just really want to buy a ticket right now. <laughs> <laughs> just, just do it. But stupid expensive especially yeah. at this point you know what theme parks should start doing i heard this is what they used to do at least disney used to do this is where 
you come in at like a certain part of the, I think 3 p.m. or something like that. Um, 3 p.m. to close, so it's like a discounted ticket, like $75. I mean, it makes sense, because you're not spending the whole day there. Might yeah. as well get a discounted ticket. Yeah, all right. We're going to walk over to the sign. The sign. I see it. It's rotating. It's spinning. <laughs> so now we're on the other side. There's a plane in the air. We're on the other side now. Ooh. Ugh, this water, it looks refreshing to take a swim in, but I can't see through it, so I don't know what's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good. But at least it doesn't look dirty. Oh, it looks you know? dyed. Like fake? Yeah. Yeah, it does kind of look fake. Okay, well there's, well, in the camera view, it looks so far away, but in real life, it's not that far away. <laughs> the sign. Woo! That's awesome. Okay, let's see if we can get a closer look. There's another one. Alright, here's the universal sign. We're walking up on it. I love that they have it like this. Hey, do you know if the... Was the Universal sign in California the same size, or is this one bigger? I think this one's bigger. Yeah, this one looks pretty huge. Uh, this one is bigger for sure. Yeah, the one in California at Hollywood Studios, uh, or Universal Studios Hollywood, is uh, not as big as this one, but it's still pretty big. Wow. We love to see it. It needs to move faster. Perfect photo op. I like that this one's blue. The one in California is silver. Yeah, and I like that you can take a video with this one without actually having to go into the park. Yeah, the one at Universal uh, Studios Hollywood, you have to go into the park in order to get um, any, kind of any kind of footage or pictures of, up close footage or pictures of the rotating logo. Mm -hmm. But All right, now we're gonna walk back to the other side. Hit up some shops, maybe. Yeah, go check out the gift shops. How fitting, they put both of our houses next to each other. So they're in Slytherin. Um, this is kind of a rare sight because Slytherin is so popular that in the parks, you can't ever get an adult-sized uh, robe for Slytherin. Um, but here we have like, I don't know, how about like six adult-sized ones here yeah. at the uh, Universal Store in City Walk. So, if you're missing a Slytherin robe, um, come here and get it before they're gone. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, hers is nice. Hers is nice. It feels good. Oh, here's Luna's. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, because Luna kind of looks like yeah. a tulip. That's right. I wanted Luna's. I think Luna's is a good one. I have Neville's at home. I want Jenny. Here's Jenny's. Yeah, I want Jenny's. Jenny's is and good. Jenny's is a good, a good fit. It's like the Count Dooku of wands. It is. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, it's not the fitness. And here's Draco's. Draco Malfoy. This is not that bad either. This is supposed to have like a gradual, like a green gray. Oh. I don't understand what it looks like. And then Victor Crumbs. Alright. I like how Fred's looks like a um, broomstick. Like a broomstick, yeah. I always love it when you go into a Ice Universal or any kind of Harry Potter store. Does it really make you feel immersed into like the world of Harry Potter? Like this is stuff you can actually. Oh yeah, this does make sense. But like when you look around and see the robes, like the notebooks mm -hmm. and the pens, you're just like, I feel like I feel like I'm actually like in their school, right. getting <laughs> merchandise. <laughs> They do a raven. I kind of want to get this shirt. Help me. <laughs> Alright, so we're at the Cinemark at City Walk. I'm gonna go see Super Pets. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've never been in this. Uh, never been in this theater. Me this either. is actually a lot bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. Yeah, the outside kind of looks small. Yeah. This is massive. 
Sorry, it got dark. The sun is behind us. <laughs> we'll see you in a couple hours. Yeah. And then dessert. Yes. Just got out of seeing Super Pets. That was funny. It was a good movie. It was really cute. Yeah. I laughed. <laughs> <Yeah>. A lot. <laughs> but now we're going to go get some dessert. Woo! Look at all these desserts. It looks so Good, yummy. Good, how are you? Pretty. All this looks, looks so pretty. Whoa. All this candy looks pretty good. This one sounds very weird. Chocolate with jelly beans? This one sounds pretty good. Chocolate and popping candy. All right, we got our dessert, our cookies and cream. Trifle cake? Trifle cake from the Chocolate Emporium. Fancy. Fancy. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of dark. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. It's Look at the layers. beautiful. Layers. <laughs> <laughs> and it has like a little chocolate cookie on top. Mmm. Very creamy. You like creamy? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Get some of that whipped cream mm -hmm. or frosting, I guess. Okay. That's a big piece. <laughs> mm. Pretty good. That hits the the sweet spot. Mm. Yum. Because the cake is nice and moist, and then the cream in between the cake is very creamy. Yep. Definitely a winner. There's such a nice breeze right here right now. And look at this view. This view is awesome. Oh, I don't want to move. It feels so cool. Yeah, I was going to say it feels nice. This waterfall is cool too. Checking out one last store before we go. This one's cool. If you buy this, your first fill is free. But technically it's not free because you're buying, you're buying it. <laughs> so you're, you're actually buying an $18 drink, I guess. <laughs> so they lie to you. Yellow was never my color. Look, the same thing. I wonder if the ounces are the same though. Now this is a fun sipper. Oh, that's cool. It's not really one you want to buy in the summer, no. but I've always wanted to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next time we come back to City Walk, um, we'll definitely have to do the mini golf. Okay. This, this one looks pretty fun. The only reason we're not doing it today is because the hotel we're at has a free mini golf. Yeah, so we'd rather do free 99 just for today. Just because, well, it just happens that the resort we're at has one. So. Yeah. But yeah, that was our, I guess, our afternoon. Our yeah. little day trip to City Walk. Um, we had a lot of fun. There was a nice. lot of some good food, some disappointing food. Um, some super sweet dessert. It was good, but that cookies and cream trifle cake was a little too much after the, the third spoon. Yeah, I agree. And I was like, ooh, good, mm, good. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much. Um, but yeah, had a good day. It's actually interesting going to City Walk and not walking into either of the theme parks. I know. I really wanted to just turn and go through the gate. Yeah. But it's expensive. We were we were very much tempted to just go up and ask, hey, can you let us in? Can we just go in? Can we just go in? <laughs> we close in like two hours. Can we come in? Yeah, but alas, we didn't do that. But look at this view from the top of the 
garage. I know you guys probably can't see it. It's probably either dark and or it's just super far away because this is very, very wide angled. But yeah, not even worth a try. I can see Harry Potter's castle. Yeah. But just so you know, from where we're standing, it's got good views. You see both parks, you see Harry Potter's castle, you see the rock and roller coaster, whatever this hotel building is. Right? I don't know. Probably can't see it. Very pretty view. Very pretty. Um, we went and saw Super Pets, and during that movie time is when a storm came and rained over everything. So we missed the rain because of that, and that was a good idea on our part. Honestly, it wasn't planned, but worked out perfectly. Yep. All right, so we're just waiting for our ride home. But thank you for spending the day with us at Universal, uh, Florida City Walk. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Tomorrow we're going to Disney Springs for lunch. So we'll check out what uh, a day at Disney Springs is like. So, bye. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.